Hey guys, welcome to part two of this tutorial series on making a web scraper using SoundCloud. So let's continue on. Um, we're going to make some menus here in order to like welcome the user and ask them for their input. So here's the main menu. We're just going to make some space. I'm going to say Welcome to the Python SoundCloud Scraper. And we're going to tell them what they can do. So explore the top or new and hot charts for all genres. Or they can search for tracks artists and mixes. Let's make a little more space. Now we're gonna make a uh, infinite loop that we're gonna be able to break out of whenever we want to. And this is going to be like the next uh, menu and it's gonna keep looping through because we don't want the program to end until the user specifies. So this one's just gonna be menu and then we're going to give them the options, one through five. It's going to copy and paste this. So one is search for a track. Two is search for an artist. Three is search for a mix. Four is top charts. Five, the new and hot charts. And zero is just to exit. So now we're just going to get the choice. So the users, we're just going to say uh, choice equals input. Here, choice. And we're going to cast this to an int because we want we only want the number rather than the string. And let's just deal with the case that they want to exit right now. So if choice equals zero, then we're going to quit our Selenium browser with browser.quit and we're going to break out of the loop. Then make some more space. And if they if they did quit, we'll just tell them goodbye. Alright, cool. So now let's deal with the searches. So that's options one, two, and three. So we've got search for a track, which is option one. So we'll say if choice equals one, then the name is the input of name of the track. So we're just gonna ask them what the name of the track is that they wanna search for. Then let's make some more space. And we need to convert all of the spaces in that name that they say into percent twenties because that's how um, spaces are on the internet. And I can just show you real quick. So say if I go to SoundCloud and I search for just Flux Pavilion. You can see up here, the query is flux percent 20 pavilion, not flux space pavilion. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to say percent 20 dot join name dot split on space. 
So basically this is splitting the name by spaces and then it's joining them back together with the percent twenties. And then we need to open this page with our Selenium browser. And we'll just say browser dot get track URL from up here. And then we're going to add the name of their search. So that's just the name with present 20s edited out, edited in. And um, our, then we're going to continue. So basically, we're going to go back to this main menu up here. And then cho choices two and three are very similar. We might as well just copy and paste and then make some minor adjustments. So if the choice is two, we're looking for the name of the artist. Then we're just gonna need the artist URL. Probably change this comment. And then search for a mix, choice is three. Name of the mix. This is going to be the same, but then we need to add to the end the mix draw end, basically specifying that we only want the mixes that are longer than 30 minutes, which is this duration equals epic. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. And yeah, you're gonna have to wait for your web page to load up before your Python menu loads up. So let's try option one. All right, so here is option two, name of the artist. And option three, name of the mix. All right, cool. And let's just try option zero to exit. All right, and we successfully exited. So now um, in the next video, we're gonna be learning how to use Beautiful Soup and scrape SoundCloud for data. And I'll, so I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, thanks for watching.